time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm still on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look. Look, I understand you're angry, but please... Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? I know. You think I was jealous of you. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on, on it, me. huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. 
<laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Soy yo, David. Estás en tu ¿Qué casa, calma. ¿Qué está haciendo? Él está loco, él atacó a Héctor. Solamente está confundido. Mamá. We need to get her to the hospital. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's no! Okay. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah.
It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. It'd definitely be nice to stop. We've been on the move a while now. I don't know. It feels risky. Cure. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah, no thanks. One of us should be sober. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> And when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> he was always stubborn like that. Even when we were kids. He saw the world in a certain way. And he'd try and make you see it that way, too. So that's where Gabe gets it from. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. Jesus, obviously. Look, I didn't sign up for this either. Sometimes life decides for you. That sounded deep, didn't it? <laughs> uh, no. No, it didn't. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents. Still. Mm. Uh, what's that smell? That's gross. We're, um... We're smoking weed, Mariana. Well, at least Kate is. What? It, it's true. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
<sighs> well, that's not necessary, Mari. We're all the protection we need. I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> all right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar? Need, Mariana. Not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <sighs> Hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you would find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. Uh, but I'd still try to charm them. What would I have to lose? It'd be pretty amusing, I'm sure. Until our eyeballs were ripped out of our skulls. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. That's a great idea, Mariana.
come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but... he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just... We're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And then... It ain't my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea but it's safer to keep moving. I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it.
Gabe? Come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Wow! This place is decked out! Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it. Before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. Oh, guess what? Uh, now... <laughs> you can really drown us out. <laughs> hey, thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Oh no, oh boy, sleeping in the van again? <laughs> All I'll say is you definitely owe me one. <laughs> yeah, well, you owe me like a dozen, so I'll just shave it off your tab. Hey, Kate, can you come help us with this? Hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the, the gas is all there. You just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, uh -uh, I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Uh-huh. All alone. Yeah, sure you are. Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You a 
assholes in there. I got your boy. You don't want him getting shot. You best come out there careful with your hands up. Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people. That shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. You're lonesome. Now, how come these are all open? You can't just take what you like. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Now, yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. You got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Your buddy's not thinking straight, so let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no!
Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Yeah. You stopped it, all right. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. But I know you thought about it. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. 
surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I'm not the one you should be worried about. Well, you know the score around here, Clementine. Don't do anything that would make me want to pick you up and throw you the fuck out. And I won't pick you up and throw you the fuck out. My boots weigh more than you. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... you'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse 
excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Hm. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, oh, this smells like... Turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Cause I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty, and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he Stop. was... Stop. Just... Stop talking. And you? Thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor. She'll fix you up. Till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. I've had a lot worse, believe me. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. 
Javier. Call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. Well, uh, you know, thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. I wasn't getting any rest tonight anyway. Might as well keep busy. But I appreciate the thank you. <clears throat> so, I have to ask. Is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. You put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. Uh, that's only sort of true. She didn't mean to kill him. It just sort of... It happened. Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <sighs> I've never understood it. All right. I'll stop giving you a hard time. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger. But that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Maybe she's just a scared kid. I don't really know much at all. We just met a few hours ago. Hmm. Way I heard it, you two were pretty chummy before things got all out of hand at the hangar. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. I'm the one who's lucky. I'm not sure I'd have made it this long without the three of them. Hang in there. You're gonna find them. <laughs> Let go of me! There you go. Trip. what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Because frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight, all three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. What? Seriously? When you do that for me... It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van, and we go our separate ways. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait, and get a ride with him. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. Our deal doesn't include me lying for you. You attacked him, and then you murdered him. I didn't mean to. I had no idea the gun would go off. <sighs> Just goes to show you, you can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... <sighs> I'm done talking. It'll be a while before that herd passes, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night. Dinner. 
Aren't you hungry? <sighs> We're out of food, AJ. We're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta... AJ, stay here while I find us dinner, okay? Uh, tell me you understand. <sighs> Please, we need this, AJ. We need food. You gotta be brave, okay? Almost there. Uh, Clementine. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? <laughs> Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Ariana, stay back.
found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. Oh. <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruny. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. Now let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woo-hoo about, that's all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Mari! God! Fucking me! Really thought you could just walk back in here like nothing happened? <laughs> I don't think so! We can't leave her! Oh! Shit! Oh! Kate! <coughs> Stop! Uh. Stop! Harvey, uh. help! I know, Harvey, and there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor. <laughs> Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here I've right now. I already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No, uh, Avi, you have to come with us. 
Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. 